Hi guys, so the last of our efficiency ratios is the inventory turnover in days. Now this one really helps us to understand how quickly uh, the given business is actually turning over its inventory, its average stock holding. So how quickly are they actually selling through their stock level and how many days does it take them to actually sell through that stock. Okay, so this uh, measures the average number of days that a business will take to sell through its average inventory. Uh, businesses with perishable goods will have a low inventory turnover. So if you consider a uh, fruit and veg stall, a fruit and veg stall is going to have a very very low inventory turnover in terms of the actual number of days because there's only so many days that fruit and veg of course will actually keep just like a smoothie bar or something of that sort of uh, ilk will have a low inventory turnover in terms of the number of days that it takes to sell through that average stock level. Okay, now a high number may indicate uh, a business which only sells a number of items uh, across the year. It could be something like a Rolls Royce showroom or something like that, okay? Um, or alternatively, it may reflect that actually a lot of cash is tied up in the uh, inventories of the business and that can of course cause cash flow problems it can affect the liquid capital ratio okay uh, now the actual figures that we get uh, to calculate this inventory turnover we can see is the average inventory that average inventory you take from the statement of financial position uh, meanwhile the cost of sales is uh, what you would take from uh, the statement of comprehensive income okay so the cost of sales remember is for an annual period whereas this uh, being from the balance sheet is a snapshot on a given point in time and this then gets multiplied by 365 to tell us uh, how many days it takes to actually sell through this given level of stock. So let's take the example that we've got here and let's just work through the, what we've got. So we've got an inventory level of £15,000 that's come from the statement of financial position. Meanwhile, we've got £90,000 as the annualised cost of sales coming from the statement of uh, comprehensive income. So as we then input that information and just put down 15 k divided by 90k, uh, then multiply that through by 365. I believe that comes out at about 60.8 days. So you could just round that up and call it 61 days. So we've got a period of 61 days that it takes that business to actually sell through their average stock holding. Okay, uh, now some businesses will want to actually reduce their, uh, their uh, inventory turnover um, but to do so, it may require other methods such as marketing and ensuring uh, that you're really generating sufficient sales leads and uh, turning them into final sales. Okay, there we go, guys. All right, I hope that's been useful.